G'day viewers, I'm going to read for you today some actual objections a Christian has to Fifty Shades of Grey. Now there are a lot of reasons to have objections to this book. In fact, two of the groups I empathise with who have a problem with it are first, people who value literature, who question why something that they feel is so badly written sells so many, and two, people who are actually into the BDSM scene who tend to find the book stupid, badly written, and unsafe, and clearly written by someone who actually knows nothing about BDSM and will get people hurt just with their bad influence. Now, the Christian sexpert, yes, that's a thing apparently, has their main objection is just how many people read Fifty Shades of Grey. It makes them sad. And then they go off to list some of the people that they believe are reading the books. Praying grandmas are reading it. Oh, I bet they are. And now I'm sure you can't get the image of a praying grandma reading BDSM porn out of your mind. Vibrant young human trafficking activists are reading it. I don't even know what that is. Is a human trafficking activist someone who's active on behalf of human traffickers? Against human traffickers? Why are they particularly interested in Fifty Shades of Grey? And describing them as vibrant just makes me think this person is really into this whole human traffic activism. Pastors' wives are reading it. Oh yes they are. I think there was a whole episode of The Simpsons about the Reverend Lovejoy's wife reading it. Missionaries are reading it. In position? Am I right? Jews, Muslims and Christians are reading it. With surveys showing Christians and non-Christians alike read Fifty Shades in roughly equal percentages, certain evangelicals are getting very worried. They talk about this normalising anything that's not plain vanilla sex. Honestly, I think the key word here is normal. When you've got everyone doing something and you're on the outside saying, don't do that, there's always a chance you're the problem. Now, I've heard people say before, being a minority of one doesn't make you wrong. Strictly speaking, that's true. But if you are a minority of one, statistically, it's almost impossible that you aren't wrong. So take a good, hard look at yourself. A Christian book wanting to expose what they see as wrong with Fifty Shades of Grey is called Pulling Back the Shades. And I'll read for you here the great rave they say, if the temporarily out of stock notice and rave reviews on Amazon are any indication, this is a message that's reaching many. And guess what? They actually showed that the book had sold over two and a half thousand copies. Yeah, you got that right. They're trying to say a book that sells two and a half thousand copies is having an impact. Next to a book that sold millions. And this following quote is again said by a Christian activist without irony. Even though I read the books in a spirit of prayer, literally on my knees, I got pulled into the story. My body even got pulled in. These books are powerful and had a significant impact on me. Who even says, while decrying a book about raunchy sexual practices, that they were on their knees the whole time and having it affect their body? Someone who wants a visit from Mr. Christian, that's who.